Okay, so I want to talk a little bit about dealing with compound shapes, compound um, figures, and show you a little bit about how to um, break these up and think about them. So we're going to find perimeter and area. Um, let's do, I think, area first, maybe. In my mind, at least, it's simpler. So the idea with these area or compound shape problems is you want to break the compound shape up into pieces that you can find the area. So, for example, I see this triangle right here, and that triangle has height 1 and base 2. So the area of that is 1 half base times height is equal to 1 half times 2 times 1, which is just 1. Um, let's say this is in centimeters. I'm not sure. Maybe I... Okay, 1 square centimeter. Okay, I'm going to quickly run out of colors, but let's do this trapezoid right there, right? So the trapezoid that looks like that has the top base 2. The bottom base I read from right here because I assume this to be a rectangle. 4 and then straight perpendicular height 3 and this area is 1 half base 1 plus base 2 times height which is equal to 1 half um, 2 plus 4 times 3, which is 6, I think it's 9, is that what you get? Okay, let's do a third piece, let's do this rectangle, right here, this rectangle, as these two sides, 3 and 4, area is equal to length times width, 3 times 4, which is 12 centimeters squared. Um, okay, let's see if I can do maybe, let me see if this highlighter will work. This triangle, so let's do this one. Boop. Looks like that. I have again height 3. And this will be my base right here, 3, so area is 1 half base times height, 1 half 3 times 3, which is equal to 9 halves centimeters squared, or probably 4.5 centimeters squared. And finally, before I lose this off the page, I'll do this one more triangle. That one has height 2 and this base here 3. Area is equal to 1 half base times height again. 1 half 3 times 2, which is equal to just 3 centimeters squared. Okay, now do you see how I systematically, I mean honestly broke this up into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 different pieces? I'm sure from the coloring that I did on the original figure and these five pieces that I have to the right that I have covered and I'm getting the area for the entire figure. And then so total area, I'm just going to add them up. Total equals, I think this first one was one centimeter, right? Plus nine, plus twelve, plus four point five plus 3. So let's see, 9 and 1 is 10, 12 is 22, I'd add the 3, 25, I think I get 29.5 centimeters squared, squared for total area. Is that okay? I do encourage you to use colors and to actually redraw at least roughly these shapes that you see so that you can identify um, kind of 
space, width, height, um, maybe uh, radius for circles, things like that. Okay? Okay. Now for perimeter, I want to bring in another shape, actually. The one I showed above doesn't have enough information to find perimeter, but let's say we're going to look at just this trapezoid, which is a pretty simple compound shape. But the perimeter here, just to be clear, is just this, these four sides. Okay. I don't have to um, include anything, like if I had an inner line here that showed, for example, this. That's not part of the perimeter. Okay. Now when finding the perimeter, I try to pick a corner and then just work clockwise around the shape to try and figure out what each of them are. <coughs> Excuse me. And sometimes you have to do intermediate um, calculations to do this. For example, I have to use the Pythagorean theorem here because this 14 will be split into a piece that's 8 here and 6 up here. Okay? So let me find this top piece. It's a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and this is my c up here. So 6 squared plus 20 squared equals c squared. Um, so I get 36 plus 400 equals c squared, and 436 equals c squared. Um, and let me see. I think my kids have my cell phone right now. Let's look and find a calculator, and we'll take the square root of 436. Um, square root for, oh, 436 square root must be. So I get 20.88, okay? Oh, C is equal to 20.88. And again, let's assume we're in centimeters, 20.88. And then the perimeter just becomes adding these perimeter equals 20.88 plus 8. That's my next plus 20 plus, and this last side is 14 as a total. So that's 34, 42, and I think 62.88 just centimeters, right? So this is a linear measurement. Okay? Sometimes you'll have to use the circumference formula in here if you have parts of circles. Um, but, but overall, like, these are the basic ideas for perimeter and area. Okay? Let me know if you have questions.